Hey guys, it's me, Edward Vane, and for today, we are going to review and unbox the Levin K620 Mechanical Keyboard. Alright guys, let's go! Alright guys, now the keyboard looks great. Now I do want you guys to know that blue switches are not hot swappable, but the red and the brown switches are. And sometimes they are lab labeled the K62G, right? I repeat, K62G for the hot swappable version. And not all sellers in Shopee provide the hot swappable version, so I do recommend you guys ask the seller first before you buy them. Or you can use my shopping link below so you can buy the hot swappable version because like I said, the previous version wasn't hot swappable. Now, what do I think of the keyboard? Well, I do have to say, this keyboard is great. I mean, I'm using my red switches right now. It's my first time using red switches, and I do have to say, they are really, really sensitive. I mean, if I just... Well, of course, when I'm typing, I'm putting, you know, pressure, but not too much, since it's a mechanical keyboard. But for this, it's like even if I just tap, it, it registers the key that I'm trying to press. So it was actually a bit difficult for me at first when I was typing in, you know, monkey type. And it was still, I think, a bit of a challenge for me when I was typing or doing some office work using this keyboard because, like I said, red switches are known to be very sensitive because they're known for gamers. Now, again, if you are going to buy this, they only come in blue and red. Unfortunately, there are no brown switches. Now, what I really like about this keyboard is its design. Like, I like the black frame of it. I like the stabilizers. Now, the RGB on the side, at first I did think it was cool, but you hardly notice it because, of course, when you're using your mechanical keyboard, you look at it from the bottom, not from the sides. So it's just, you know, a cool gimmick, but really not a practical gimmick to it. Uh, and for my, comparing it to my Codessa KDA61, which has blue switches, it does feel good. I mean, I like my KDA61 a bit better because of how it feels, but do note that I have modded my KDA61 and I'm sure if I mod my K620, it will sound much better and feel better as well. But for a mechanical keyboard that only costs around 700 to 800 pesos and that is hot swappable, it has a nice feel to it, especially the red switches. And it also has a detachable US USB, well actually it's Type-C, it is worth the price. And I have to say this is the budget king when it comes to 60% mechanical keyboards. It's also the lowest price 60% mechanical keyboard here in the Philippines and also in Shopee. And here is a quick sound test. Alright, so those switches, if you heard them, I have to say they are very silent. Now, brown switches are known to be the silent, you know, switches for mechanical keyboards, but with this red switch, I barely hear anything. And as you know, I'm showing it to you while the camera is near the keyboard. So imagine you typing and your ears are here and the keyboards are here. They really feel silent, they feel soft, they feel sensitive. I really do recommend this for gamers. And it's very easy to mod, and I'll make a modding video maybe next week or within this week, who knows. But I really love this keyboard, it's the Budget King, and if you guys want to buy once again, here is my Shopee link. And thank you so much for watching my video, guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment below what you think of this keyboard to ask me questions as well. Okay guys, bye!